Hello, my name is RD, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to do circuit analysis with Supernode. But first, let's review how to do nodal analysis with this sample circuit. So, the question is, find V and I in the circuit. V is the voltage across this 3 ohm resistor, and I is the current that passes through this 2 ohm resistor. And let's see if we have encounter any problem here so in the previous video i explained how to do nodal analysis step by step and let's follow that steps okay the first step will be pick a reference node so i will pick the bottommost node here as our ground so the voltage here will be v is equal to zero in the reference node and the second step will be label all the essential nodes. I see there is two essential nodes, this node here and this node here. Let's name this node as node A and let's name this node as node B. Okay. So now let's assume the direction of the current. So usually I'm labeling the horizontal component going to the right and the vertical component going down. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, this one. Okay, now let's do the next step. We have been on the step three. Now let's do step four, which is plug into the formulas. Plug into what? To KCL, right? So let's do KCL at not A. KCL at not A. Okay, what does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. Now the only current that goes in is this current here and that will be 14 minus VA divided by 4. And that is the only current that goes in. The other current is going out. So let's do equal sign here and for this current here we will have VA minus this node here which is 0 divided by 3 and then plus okay now we have a current that passed through a voltage source how to do that how do you know the uh, current that passed through a voltage source we do not have the formula for that right so this is a big question mark here okay that is the first problem that we encounter and if we do again kcl at node b we will encounter the same problem so the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out so this current here going in we cannot calculate that right and then yeah that will be usual usual uh, VB divided by 2 and VB divided by 6 so how do we solve this problem so this is the problem that we need to solve okay so let's do uh, another approach which is a super Okay, now I have cleaned all the previous calculation and let's see what can we do from here. So what we need to do is doing supernode analysis. What is supernode? Supernode is merging two nodes into one nodes. So here we will have node A and node B, but we cannot find the current between node A and node B. So what we need to do is merge this node here, node A and node B, into one super big node. Okay, so the merge node, the merge nodes, is called super node, super node, and because we assume that as one big node, we do not need to worry about this current that pass through node A and node B, like that. And because this is a node, we can do KCL in this super node. 
So we can do KCL at supernova. And I think we need to change the color because yellow is not too bright. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the currents that goes out. Now, take a look at this super node here. The only current that going in is this current here. Okay, and the other currents is going out. So, let's do that. So, the current that goes in is 14 minus V super node. But, but we, when we do the KCL, when we do the Ohm's law, we need to treat each node individually, not as one node. So I will have, I need to do VA here. So 14 minus VA divided by 4. Okay, like that. So the other three currents are going up. So the first one is this current here. And that current here will be VA minus 0 divided by 3 and then the second one will be this current here and that current will be VB yeah not V super node but this node individually so I'll have VB minus 0 divided by 2 and then the last current that we need to take care of is this one which is VB minus 0 divided by 6 Okay, what can we do from here? I think we can multiply both sides by 12. So we need to get rid of the fraction. So I will have 14 multiplied by 3, right? So I will have 42 minus 3 VA. And then for this one, I will have 4 VA. And for this one, I will have what is it, 6 VB, right? 6 VB. And for this one, I will have 2 VB. Or I can rewrite this as 42 is equal to 7 VA plus 8 VB. Okay, let's save this as equation number 1. And we need to find another equation. Why? Because this is a uh, two variable equation, but we only have one equation. We need to find one more, right? To be able to solve for VA and VB. So let's see in the circuit. So now we take a look at inside the super node. Okay? Inside the super node, we have voltage source. And remember in the previous videos that a voltage source is basically the difference between the positive polarity and then negative polarity, right? So this 6 volt is the difference between node B and node A. So let's label that from 6 volt voltage source. We will have TB minus VA is equal to 6. Okay, I think that's enough for solving this equation. So this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. So the next step is obviously solving the system of linear equation. Okay, we have two equations with two variables. We should be able to solve this, right? So we will have this VB is equal to VA plus 6. But we can uh, substitute this into the first equation. Let's do that. 42 is equal to 7 VA plus 8 multiplied by this one, right? Because VB is VA plus 6. A plus 6. And now I will have 42 is equal to 7 VA plus 8 VA plus 48 
48 and now let's move this to the left hand side so i will have minus 6 is equal to 15 va or va is equal to minus 6 divided by 15 or we can simplify this by dividing both numerator and denominator by 3 so i'll have minus 3 i mean minus 2 right minus 2 over 5 or we will have minus 0 0.4 for for va and for vb vb is just va plus 6 so i will have minus 0 0.4 plus 6 and from here i will have 5 point six four okay now what is the question eh? what is the question is asking us it's about v and i v is the voltage here which is the same as va right because v is the difference between this node and this node and i is just vb divided by two okay so i will have v v what is v v is equal to va which is minus 0 0.44 and then i i is equal to vb divided by 2 and vb is 5.6 and then divided by 2 so i will have i is equal to 2.8 and the unit is ampere so the final answer is v is minus 0 0.4 and the i is 2.8 ampere so hopefully I explain this clear enough and it is helping you to solve the super load analysis. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching and bye bye.